Hello everybody and welcome back to Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. Where today, oh do we, no we didn't miss Plum's birthday. Oh that's fine, we, we managed to, to do that, there's nothing special today. Why do I get the feeling I've already done this day? I'm very confused. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. Regard. Oh no, I'm sure I haven't because I'm sure I have not seen all of these seeds growing into tiny little, tiny little sprouts. Now, it looks like my little harvesty friends have come to help me, but they're not going to help me water, so today I shall be watering. Um, I'm going to have a look in a second at how far my watering can has come. If I go to the right menu, that would help. It's at 90%. So over the next few days I need to maybe get it up to 100% and then we can go get a mithril upgrade. At which point I'll get a couple of the, the nature sprites to come in and do some watering for me. It's a lot of watering to do so I don't know if I'll manage it but we'll see. It looks like some of these ones that have already, they look like they've already been watered. Let's have a look. See if they just are looking a bit weird because of... Aha. Uh -huh. They have not been watered, they just look slightly darker than the ones with the seeds on. Gotta be careful about that. Don't let it fool you! So those are like my cabbages there. Finally getting on top of things. So what we're waiting for really at the moment is just to get through to the first harvest that we're going to have. And once I get through to my first harvest, I will probably get enough money together. Uh, and what I'm, I'm looking for with the money... Oh, run out of water. Okay, what I'm looking for with the money is to uh, upgrade my watering can, obviously, but also I'm looking for the field upgrade, because then I'll be able to sell my stuff for more money. So it's all good stuff. Right, let's uh, do some more watering. Then I'll go see my animals. I really should see the animals first, but I don't know. I'm a bit in love with watering at the moment because I've got this new watering can. And everything's so quick. It's so great. Like this harvest is going to be immense compared to the ones I was doing before. I, I think I had like four or five fields of this size last time. And now I've got like 10, 11 fields of this size. So it's, it's going to be double the amount of harvest. Yeah, we are a little bit behind on the cucumbers and things growing. We haven't really got onto them properly until like the fifth, which is a bit disappointing. But I think we should still get lots of cucumbers out of this. We'll probably have, I think they grow usually in about between five and seven days, so by about the 12th I should be expecting to see them. And as predicted, I can water all of these on my own, I think, without running out of stamina. But Three, three fills of the watering can to do this entire thing. That's not too bad. And like I say, once I get the mithril upgrade, that's going to be even better. Uh, people were saying, you know, I was saying, oh, I'm not going to bother trying to look for the cursed tools in the mine. Apparently that was a good thing to do because apparently you cannot, until you have all the tools up to mithril, find the cursed tools someone was telling me in chat so in chat in the comments I've been streaming yesterday so that's why I'm saying chat um, so yeah that was probably a wise idea not to like spend a whole ton of money trying to go and find those so we're just gonna wait until all six tools over this year we'll probably get them all up to mithril the fishing rod and everything like that I'll work on that obviously the fishing the uh, sorry the watering can is the first one mm, we need to eat I think yeah, well that sucks. You've also got people telling me to go and give Cliff his photo back, so I'll go and grab that out of the cabinet while I'm in there as well. But yeah, I feel like I probably need to go in and make some udon or something, just for a little bit of, of snackage. Uh, but in the meantime, 
Just grab some oranges. There we go. You see a little stack of oranges, that should be enough. Okay. The other thing that I want to do, I probably actually want to do it today, honestly, because I'm missing out right now, is to chop down all these trees and get new ones coming in. So let's gather the, the couple of bits of honey I've got. I also want to, to probably put in a flower bed or two. Maybe I'll do that uh, at the point... Um, yeah, maybe I'll do that at the point where uh, I've got... I completely forgot what I was saying now. It's gone. It's gone out of my mind. I apologise. If I think of it later, I'll, I'll let you know. I don't know if I'll manage to do this in time, actually. Might have to do it tomorrow. But they've got to all be cut down. Look, I haven't had time, Zach. I've got a lot to do today, okay? Oh, flowers, yes. Um, I'll probably do that when I get the mithril watering can. That was what I was trying to say. I will do the flowers once I get the mithril watering can. I'll put in an extra field or two. I don't know why that one was randomly not watered. How weird. So I've still got another three little fields to do. Come on, Sheila, you can do it. Actually, no, she can't. She's about to pass out. Come on, girly. You've got, you've got low... Fa your fatigue is all right, so... Yeah, that's so annoying. Because I decided I had... I just had to cut down those trees, didn't I? That she love getting sidetracked? No, never. She would never do such a thing. We're getting loads of lumber now, which is fantastic. 243. I think I only need like 400 or so for something. Right, so that's that. Got weeds to sell as well. And then I'm gonna have to go and see my little my little dudes as well. So tomorrow will be Saturday, which is, th I think, when the carpenter is closed. So, yay. Yay, go me. That was such an intelligent thing to do. Let's get out there and, and see the animals. And also, I think maybe tomorrow I can start letting them out again. Um, I should let the chickens out, but I always forget as well. Let's pop in the barn. So who have we got? We've got Lolly who has four days left to go. Ooh, that'll be next episode. Skewith has 14 days left to go. I need to find Stony. Stony's the only one I need to talk to. So apparently I can run... I can walk through my animals with R... Ah. So with the right trigger button... Pressed, I can walk through the animals. Thank you guys for when I got stuck for letting me know that little trick. That will help me if I get stuck in the future. That's obviously like a little debug trick that they've got there to help out. Get all those away, shall we? We don't need weeds in my inventory. Okay, and then let's milk Buttercup. What? No milk? Did you guys get not fed yesterday or something? Oh, something weird happened, clearly. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just feed you then. I thought I'd fed them, but there's some. there was all sorts of weirdness going on recently with festivals, and there was a lot... There's a lot going on at the beginning of a season. Like, you get all these festivals and things, and you're trying to grow your, your crops and do your farming and everything at the same time, and it all gets a little bit crazy. Sometimes your animals get a little forgotten. So 
Stony, do you want that? Oh, Stony's being fed, apparently. Okay, let's pop that back then. We should only have six animals. I only see like five of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, six, yeah. Six animals. And six animals have been fed. And there are no animal products today. Um, I wonder whether that will be the same with the chickens. If it is, it is. It's fine. Yeah. So we didn't feed anyone yesterday. Something, something went a bit wrong there. So I really need to start letting the chickens and stuff out on a regular basis in the morning because it, I've gotten so used to over the winter just coming in and feeding them at, like at night time, giving them a nighttime dinner. That now I'm I'm forgetting um, to let them out because I used to do that all the time. Mini rabbits. So, oh, I'm going to put the feed away because uh, we use them all but two now because we now have seven animals in this barn, in this here barn. So we will have, Hop will grow up and I will not shear her and I will get a rabbit pregnancy kit and I will make her pregnant. And then she will have, I have a little look here. I need to talk to them all as well. Um, so she's going to have an eight heart baby and then her grandchild will be a nine heart baby and her great grandchild will be the one that will will give birth to all the rest of the ten star ten heart babies and that's what will happen there uh we are on six hearts with the cows six hearts with the sheep and we're about to get our first six heart with the llamas so you've got to go through like obviously five five new generations before you can get them to ten hearts which is quite quite a feat that one and then once you've done all that breeding, you've still got to make them affectionate towards you for 10 hearts. And then you get all the really good stuff and you get lots of money. And then obviously then you can save up for your big fat house in the mountain. Well, not in the mountain, up in town. Your big fat house up in town. The, mil the 10 million pound house. And that I think is where I will probably, like, that will be my big goal I think for this. I want to get the 10 million house. I think I can do that. Uh, is it bedtime now do you think? I think I'll go sell my milks that I got yesterday, or this morning, or whenever it was I got them. So a few things have gone in there, that's fine. Uh, what's going on tomorrow? Tomorrow is a Friday. Yeah, I did, I know, I was really bad and I missed um, the Tuesday the 2nd cooking programme. So we'll have to catch the other four this, this season. Ah... <sighs> Yeah, I think I'll go to bed. You know what I didn't do? Give the Harvest Goddess a present again. I think I have to do a certain amount in a row to get like the guy that gives me pets. I'm never gonna have a pet at this rate. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. It's gonna be a nightmare. Oh, it's raining! Nice! Everything gets watered for me. All I have to do is pick up a few weeds. Things a bit tidy. So today would be a really good day to use my stamina for things like a fishing, which is still something I'm trying to do. Um, I imagine I can pick up my fishing rod today because I think that was in for an upgrade. So if I go pick that up, I can do a bit of fishing. Also, a thing that I can do today is take my golden axe. Get rid of those stumps, and then we are totally golden now, unless we have a storm. Nothing will be hitting my farm that I cannot remove. Lovely. Let's do this one as well. And then by the time I finish doing that, it'll be time to go pick my stuff up. You know what I should have done is asked Plum to come down in and harvest and then I could have given Plum a present every day, even when there was nothing to do. However, I didn't do that, so I'll just give these guys a present. 
Hello, Cherry. You do not really need much of a present from me because you're already at like nine hearts, but you know, there we go. Um, Mint, however, is one that does need a little bit more TLC. If you look at the nature sprites, he's one of the ones that's like uh, only seven hearts, I think. Blueberry's nine, pumpkin's eight, plum is seven, cherry is ten. Oh, cherry doesn't need any more presents now. That's it. Aqua's at eight, Sunny's at eight, Mint's at eight. So you could give Mint a present every day until Mint's at ten. And then swap them around. That'd work. That'd be pretty good. But yeah, they're doing really well. They're doing super well. Okay, let's go get this fishing rod back. Hey, Saibara. The silver fishing rod is finished. Go on, take it home with you. Yes! See what we can get with this we beastie. I'll just head down to the south of my farm and look, oh it's so nice. Oh no, there's weeds over there, look. How dare. I'm kind of thinking I might go and get some more like grass that I could put down the bottom here. Um, just until I do fill it up. Uh, there's no reason not to. Just stops the weeds from growing, if nothing else. Yeah, let's go and do that, actually. I'm going to go and buy myself a couple of more things of grass. And then um, I'll probably pop down to the carpentry place. And see if I can get in there. I think it's closed on Saturday, though, so I'm not too worried about it. I'll just go in tomorrow. So. Please, can I have two grass seedlings... And I'm going to put like one down the bottom and one bottom corner and one down the other bottom corner and we're going to grow a big old grass field down the bottom. And then what I might do is like take lumber and pop it along the, like make a little fence into like a little grass field down the bottom there. I think that might be quite cool. Just keeps everything separated nicely. So around here or something I reckon and that will just spread out where is it there we go and then I'll pop one like over the other side here and then eventually they'll grow together there we are. so you can see what I'm aiming for there just to, to grow them all around um, and I kind of want to put, like, I think, some logs around to, like, contain them. So I just want to make this a bit prettier. I, I feel like, like, this isn't a very, like, I haven't done much to make this farm attractive, so... This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make, like, a little fence where I want the grass to grow into. I don't care if I have to pay for the lumber. I know I've got one golden fence post, but it's like, uh, I don't know about that. I'll stop the, the cows from wandering as much as well, I think, all the cattle. So I think the idea would be to have it row to about um, need more lumber I also like my sickle I'm going to get rid of that one What I'll probably do is get rid of all the stuff along the top here, but it needs to grow a little bit more before I do that. And then just have that. Okay, Zach. And it'll be quite a long strip of stuff, I think, because it'll probably have... Um... 
I just get my hoe out a second. I'm just gonna do this. Shush. So I'll probably go to about there and just be in line with the, the edge of the field. So you can see how that's gonna work there. I kind of think that eventually though, I'm probably gonna wanna like move all of these along one or something. Because at the moment, and there's one, two, three, and then there's one, two, three. So really what I should have is edge borders. And I have, I'd never worked this out before. Edge borders that are like too wide and then everything just shifts along one. But uh, I don't know, I'm happy just to leave it for now like it is, it's fine. And then I'll probably just have a, like a border along here. Goes all the way along here. And that would be just like a little sort of grass uh, thing. Can I jump over these or are they like, oh yeah, I can, cool. So I can just keep the grass completely self-contained within like lumber posts. Um, I'm going to spend some of this evening doing that. I know I spent all that time getting all that lumber. But I don't care. This is going to make my farm so nice. That was silly. Where's my hammer? Oh, I put it away. How irritating. Oh, I think if I put lumber down, though, it, it turns it back to normal, so... So this is where I want my my grass to be growing. Well, like I say, I will probably move all of this over to one side. So can I pick these back up again? Oh yeah, you can just pick them up and move them. So that's actually really fine. And then the idea would be that I do this as well, along the top. I'll probably leave like a, a gap where the cows would come in. And then once that has grown a little bit more, that grass down there, I will uh, put some fence posts in over there. But at the moment, obviously it's a, it's a little bit like, yeah. I don't want to leave too small a gap in case the cows can't get through. So I think that's about right there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So now then across here, I think what I'm gonna do is go from here all the way across the bottom there and that will just stop any grass growing up onto the fields, which was really annoying me last time. And these will rot and I'll need to probably replace them, but it's fine. I can always buy lumber as well. So this down here will be like my grass growing area um, and the bit at the top will be like a feeding area for them. Um, so it looks like that now. So that will just be a line of fence posts all the way across just to stop the grass growing through. Whereas that bit up the top there will be an actual kind of little It'll be a little sort of uh, grass feeding area for the cows. And like I say, I'll probably move everything around just a, a touch. I'll have a too wide border probably around the whole thing. Or... <gasps> I've got an idea. Got an idea. Got an idea. Oh, I'm going to have to do my idea tomorrow. It's fine. We'll see what the weather's like tomorrow, but I've got I've got some ideas for like making this look pretty cool. I'm not gonna tell you what they are yet.
We made 486 today. Hopefully we'll make a bit more tomorrow. That was that was terrible. That was a very bad day for money. <laughs> but it's a Sunday, so we should hopefully... Oh, it's still raining. Awesome. Oh, wow, and look. Are those harvestable? And if they are, will my little dudes come and harvest them? Oh, yeah. That means I need to go to the shop and get myself another four turnip seeds. While they're up to up to their tricks there. So I don't need to do a thing, which is great. Oh, they're shut on a Sunday, aren't they? Rats. Well, that might have to be a tomorrow thing then. I'll get the tree sorted today at least, though. Yeah, it's also too early. Yeah, it's closed Tuesdays and Sundays. So yeah, tomorrow we'll have to sort that out. Uh, but today I will sort out the animals and maybe we'll go, well, actually, to have a tea party with all of the sprites, I have to let them go for a little bit. Uh, usually it's quite good to do at the end of the, the season, actually, generally. The one thing I could do is I could replace those with cabbages and then I could put them in today. That is a thing I could do. Okay, let's just go and see the animals first. Let's, let's not get so distracted. Now, it's raining, so they can't go into their new field yet. But that's fine, because I'm going to be working on it today anyway. Stony, are you big and able to be clipped? Hang on. Are you big and able to be bred? I'm not going to clip Stony today, because... Right, we've got Lolly, who has three days left to go... So if I clip Stony, then that's going to be a problem. However, Casey, you're fair game. <laughs> you're absolutely fair game. But I'm going to leave Stony because Stony is about to have a baby. Is that another day where we've had no milk? Because I definitely fed these animals yesterday. Not entirely getting this then. Um, I'm going to be honest. Maybe they're pining for the outside or something. I don't know. But they're just not giving me any milk right now. And I could have sworn I'd fed them all yesterday. Very confusing. Well, their field will be ready soon. Um, I'm going to have to hand feed the chickens today as well. They're all on six hearts though. So we might be starting to get some bigger eggs very soon, which will be very, very cool. Um, but yeah, really not a lot I can do today then, is there? Just brush and talk to Stony. I'm very confused with these cows, why they've suddenly decided they don't want to give me any milk. Very confusing. So let's get rid of the weeds in the, in the grass field, because that will be a problem. Now, I had an idea. My idea was do something like this. These ones away. Actually, I probably wanted that one there. Uh, let's put that one down. So it's like a little passageway down to the... Uh, Bottom one, you see, it's gonna like uh, connect up. So you get this sort of thing going on. I need a bit more lumber to make it all work, but that's uh, you can see the idea. And then we just get grass growing in all of those areas where we don't have fields. And then if I want to put more fields in, then I will just uh, I'll just move them all around. Just move everything about. Uh, if I want to put more fields in up the top, I could do that. And they, but then what I would probably honestly do is put more fields in down to the bottom left-hand corner, and then just slowly uh, bring the, the the field in. I think it would be pretty cool. Look at all these cucumbers, amazing. So I need some more lumber. <laughs> Going to be my 
my go-to thing to say today is, I need more lumber, I need more lumber. But I'm going to sort the trees out and then I'm going to get some cabbages, I think, to go and plant. Hey, Jennifer. I love these spring flowers, they're so pretty. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Gots. I might be able to give him those flowers soon because I think we're on like green heart and that's four isn't it I think that might be enough uh, so why was I here trees trees that's a buy thing isn't it that's not a renovate thing right you buy trees yeah so I want to buy like six grape trees as many as they'll let me do Okay, five. Okay, that's fine. So it's 5,000 in trees. But there'll be trees that I can use. Also, I've got a nice stump there that will be nice for a bit of lumber for my, my renovations that I'm doing right now. It'll be nice when I can get the grass to grow in the right way. And then I'll either buy the lumber in come the winter or I'll just, uh, sorry, the lumber, the fodder in come the winter or I'll just sort of take from around the edges. So probably eventually I will put the, the little logs all the way around, but... One piece of golden lumber, considering like how much I'm using right now in fences, uh, it probably won't go very far. <laughs> She's getting the idea now. And then the grass is going to hopefully grow into those areas. So I'm going to just get rid of the weeds around here as well because they're going to be annoying. But what I'm hoping is I won't have to do so much weed removal if I... It's, a, it's an old gardening trick. You don't have to remove so many weeds if you've got lots and lots and lots of ground cover. There we are. And also we've got now grape trees instead of orange trees. So they'll be good until the end of summer. When we get into the autumn, I'll switch them over to orange trees again. Perfect. Sell my wool. Medium wool. I'll get me a few hundred at least. Ah, oh, I'm so disappointed though. Right, now I think, uh, well, we can get some more lumber and like, fill in some more fence posts. Uh, sell all the weeds as well. Then do a bit of fishing, I reckon. Because, yeah, we got we got a little bit too late. I was going to go in and see about getting some uh, cabbage seeds. But we were a little too late on them. So I'm fine. I, I don't mind that. And Huang is really rude anyway. He likes Karen way better than, I, than he likes me. So he can get lost. <laughs> Nearly there. Oh no, nearly, we just ran out there. But that sort of fence is in my, uh, my fields. So then I can have grass in the, in the rest of it. But I, I, as I say, I might change the, uh, the arrangements there. Uh, I might put those four fields that are out to the side. It would make more sense to put them like underneath. Um, for the summer, so I'll probably change it around a little bit in the summer, but at the moment obviously it's got cucumbers planted there Which um, I'm not going to ripen anytime soon So I'm happy just to grow grass here for now And then when I change it over that'll just give me some fodder to pop into the barn And I'll just change around where the wooden posts go and stuff like that. It's nice that I can just pick them straight back up That's always a, a big boon. So all right. Okay, so we couldn't milk the cows today, and I, I really don't know why 
I guess they would be happier outside or something. But I, I did. I'm sure I fed them. Oh my God. I'm so confused. So I think these are still uh, good eggs. Yes, yeah, still good eggs. They're not excellent eggs yet. <laughs> I'm going to laugh so hard when that happens. Because I love a good pun. Right. Although I was in, um, I went, I raided Tashnar last night after my Imperian stream, and <laughs> she wanted a birthday pun. Ah, I sat there in silence because I couldn't think of one. I was terrible. Like me, not able to think of a pun? No! So I can't wait now to, in fact, I think I'll chop this with my axe. It'll, no, it doesn't. Rats. Need my hammer. Keep forgetting to pick it up. I had a, it, like a tool belt full of pregnancy kits before, which is why I couldn't have my hammer with me. There we go. I'm just desperate to hammer those two little bits. And then and then we've got this perfect little uh, farm. The only bit that I need to really sort out then would be those little bit little patches of grass there. But I just feel like that's so much nicer. I'm getting more of a... Much more of an idea of how I want things separated out and all that sort of thing, so... It's going to keep those off my fields, but like I say, I definitely, definitely think that the fields need to be moved. So I've got some below. I mean, I could even have dividers to divide up where I've got like seasonal, like rotational crops and vine crops. That'd be kind of cool as well. But I probably don't need to do that. Or we could have uh, a flower garden. That'd be quite interesting, wouldn't it? You'd have like flowers in one bit. And uh and grass in one bit. Yeah, I'm liking that idea. That might be a change around for the summer though, because I've only just like got this clear, so I'm only just starting to think about actually where I want things placed rather than being just like, oh wherever I can get things is fine. You know, so I'll probably just grab another stack of lumber and get everything sort of fenced in properly and then we'll start growing the grass. But the main thing is just to keep the grass contained. But uh, I wish it hadn't grown quite so far, like, upwards. I, I want it to grow down this way. But yeah, tomorrow I'll let the cows out, I reckon. So right, for the rest of the day... We're going to do fishing. I'm going to go down to my little river down the, the bottom and just do a few hours worth of fishing and see what kind of things I, I get now. So we're up to three. So maybe we'll get a large fish. Maybe we'll get more of the medium fish at least. Twenty-two centimeter sand smelt. Really? That's still a small fish. And that is still a small fish. That's a waste of a cast, isn't it? Yay! Biggest sand smelt I've caught yet. Okay, cool. Although I don't feel like I'm getting many more medium fish than I got when I was just like... We'll see. Time will tell. And then I just had a, the bronze one. The, the, the tiny one never caught any medium fish at all. I got a Masu trout. Well, that's a new one. Then again, I didn't fish much last spring, so there's probably a lot of different fish now. Oh, hang on. It's very late in the night now. So. We now have all of our fields kind of protected against uh, the grass, which is nice. Uh, it's going to stop it from, from growing kind of crazy into the crops like it was last year, which is a very nice thing. 
it's looking kind of still a little bit scruffy. Uh, I would like to get it, get the lumber finished off all around the edges and uh, get it all done, but mm, I might take some time to do. And also I think I may just leave it like this until the end of spring, then um, get rid of all of the cucumber ones uh, there. And then I'm just, just gonna hoe in some new uh, beds, which may or may not be for flowers. So I might have like, one, two, three, four, five. I might even just go a little bit further across as well, just to the barn door. Uh, so maybe have like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then another one, two, three, four, five, six. And then below the line of those of those uh, wooden things, maybe go for another six. I don't know if I'll fit in two more rows of that. I might have to do some spacing out and stuff and working out where things can go. Um, but I, I also do like having like discrete things to water. I don't like having like everything right next to each other. I find it hurts my, my aesthetic souls. <laughs> okay, we'll go to bed and then we will see tomorrow, because it's the end of the episode now, we'll see tomorrow how everything has propagated as far as the grass is concerned. Hopefully we'll get a few more patches of grass and I'll maybe be able to start like pruning it back and stuff like that. We've got our new trees now. We were 8,000 gold. We had a turnip harvest and the sprites harvested it. So we don't know how much I'm going to get from that, but that'll be really interesting too. So let's go, in fact, let's go to bed and see, because it'll tell me. So we got 700's worth of animal byproducts and 2,000's worth of crops. And that's not even with the upgraded field. And it's only two of my fields and I have something like 16 of them. So that's pretty awesome. We're going to be pretty rich by the end of the season. Right. So that is it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Story of Seasons, Friends and Mineral Town, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.